This is a tutorial on how to non-disruptively migrate from legacy storage to a new system, such as the Hitachi Vantara VSP5000 with Hitachi Ops Center Automator. Aging storage infrastructure is struggling to keep pace with digital transformation. New storage technologies like the Hitachi VSP5000 family are more agile, higher performing, better protected, and can scale to emerging business needs. The challenge is in moving data from legacy infrastructure to new. The process is complex and there are situations such as a critical application running out of space where the migration must be performed as quickly as possible. In simple terms, Ops Center Automator instructs Hitachi Ops Center Protector to create Global Active Device or GAD pair and allocates a path on the target volume that matches the source volume in order to seamlessly migrate data from one storage system to another. If you haven't done so already, you need to set up GAD before you can begin your migration. Refer to setting up Global Active Device in the Self-Service Data Migration Knowledge article for more information. Before you begin migration, you must configure Ops Center Protector resources and add it to Web Service Connections in Ops Center Automator, configure Ops Center Administrator and add it to Web Service Connections in Ops Center Automator, configure Hitachi Ops Center Configuration Manager and add it to Web Service Connections in Ops Center Automator, register the Source and Target Storage System in Ops Center Administrator and Ops Center API Configuration Manager. Add the Brocade Network Advisor or BNA server to Web Service Connections and Ops Center Automator. In the VMware vSphere client, we see the host that we would like to move to a different storage system. The data store has two paths on the source storage system. Log on to Hitachi Ops Center and launch Ops Center Automator. From the Services tab, select the Online Migration Service template and click Create Request. In Source Settings, select the Ops Center Administrator that is connected to Ops Center Automator. Select the Source Host from the list of hosts connected to Ops Center Administrator. In the target settings, select the Ops Center API Configuration Manager connection, and then select Target Storage System. Select the ports on the Source Storage System and Target Storage System to which the host is to be migrated. In Replication Settings, select the appropriate Ops Center Protector template to set up the GAD pairs. Select the Source node, Target node, Pool, Resource Group, and Quorum Disk, or accept the default values provided by the Ops Center Protector template. In Email Settings, add Notification Text or accept the default. In Migration Settings, accept the default values. In Fabric Settings, accept the default values. In Zone Settings, accept the default values. Automator verifies that zoning to the target storage system is in place, or if it is not, creates the zone configuration. In Task Settings, the task name, Online Migration, is followed by the date and a task number. Select Immediate from the Schedule Type field, and then select OK to submit the online migration service. Switch to the Task tab to watch the task workflow as it progresses. Here you can see multiple plugins. These plugins collect the host and volumes information. Plugins also collect path and fabric information and verify or update the zoning configurations. Plugins instruct Ops Center Protector to set up the GAD pairs. Once the GAD volumes are in pairs, the target storage system paths are added.
the user response plugin requests the user to verify the paths to the target storage system. A message is displayed asking you to confirm the LUN paths of the target resource. In the vSphere client, rescan the storage. After the host storage rescan, you can see the additional paths to the target storage system. In the Ops Center Automator Response dialog, select Migrate. Plugins unconfigure and clean up the GAD pairs. Plugins unallocate the source volumes on the source storage system. In the vSphere client, perform a final rescan of the host to clean up the stale paths. The migration is complete.